you're all staying healthy and safe. I really appreciate comments and suggestions on my previous videos. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel. Here I have a table for sales summary of 2021. I would like to calculate total cost of uh, items here for this table. In order to do so, what I'll need to do is calculate cell D4 and E4 and do the same multiplication for all of these cells. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and type in equals and then select cell D4 and multiply it by cell E4 and I'll hit enter and then I'll go ahead and click on this and drag it all the way down and in order to do the total sum I'll do equals sum and then select all of these close braces and I'll hit enter so here is my total cost for this table in order to skip all these steps what we can use is a sum product function for that what I'll do is I'll type in equals sum product and then open braces so this is asking for array 1 the area one would be our range for quantity so it would be from cell D4 to D15 and then we need to put a comma and then area 2 here would be cost E4 through E15 of close braces and hit enter so this is how you can get the total cost for this table as well so this is the very simple step to do some product however uh, there some product function um, in some product function we can also use conditions such as and or or so for example what uh, we can do here is we can select the total sum product for only supplier A and then B for month January and so on so what we can do here is in order to do so what we can do here is I'll go ahead and type an equal and then I'll type some product and then so for area 1 I'll do select uh, D4 through D15 mm -hmm. and um, what I'll do is I'll type asterisk instead of comma um, I'll show why I, I'm doing this in a second because um, we'll be using and or or uh, conditions on this one too so on this one so and then I'll select this cost and then so here if uh, instead of doing comma I'm using multiply sign and if I hit enter I'll still get the same value so now I'll go ahead and edit the formula so for example I would like to only select supplier A in order to do so what I will do is I'll put asterisk again and then select supplier uh, range which would be from B4 through B15 and then I'll type in equals and then since I'll be only selecting supplier A what I'll do is I'll type in A and then I'll go and hit enter so here what I get is an error so in order to remove the error what I'll do is put these uh, this inside braces and then hit enter so here I can get total uh, cost for supplier A in order to check that what we can do is I'll go ahead and select these three and you can see that here at the bottom um, the value is 383 
zero zero. So um, also what we can do is um, so I have only selected supplier A here. Now in order to select supplier A and B what we can do is put in plus sign which is basically saying uh, supplier A or supplier B um, and I'll open braces again and then select the range equals B and then close braces we need to make sure that we close these two inside another braces because if we leave this like this let me go ahead and do that again or I'm selecting the range supplier equals B so if I hit enter like this I'll get 38301 so supplier A and B cost let's go ahead and check supplier A and B total cost in order to do that I'll select these three or these four the total cost should be five hundred and fifteen zero zero fifty one thousand five hundred so but I'm only getting a thirty eight uh, three oh one thirty eight thousand three hundred one so um, in order to remove this error what we'll need to do is close these braces or close these um, selection A and B with an another set of braces and hit enter now here I have 51,500 which is our correct value so this is um, how we can use or and also if we also want to select um, for example if I only want to select supplier A or B and um, only for sales month March in order to do that I'll need to use one more multiplication sign which is saying and I'll go ahead and select uh, this range of sales month equals to uh, I'll type in March and then I'll hit enter oh I think I forgot to put braces so what I'll do is close these within braces and then hit enter so 28400 let's go ahead and check the values for these two cells 28400 so this is correct so this is how you can use a sum product function um, with and and or conditions hope this video helps you all if this video helps you please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel thank you all so very much y'all have a good day bye bye